One of the biggest game changers in cycling has been the introduction of GPS technology. The ability to know where you are, where you're going and where you've been has opened up a huge amount of potential. We had this crazy idea. What if you could use GPS points to compare yourself to yourself or compare yourself to a friend? GPS fundamentally solved a problem. We're the largest collection of human-powered movement information in the world. Nowadays, we take GPS satellite navigation for granted. My phone uses it, we have it in our cars. It's kind of part of our lives. Dan Lloyd and I, Morning. Okay, we're both going for a bike ride separately. I get to use my GPS. Dan, however, is going old school. Right, start heading southwest over the bridge. It's amazing to think four satellites have got a fix on my position. They can locate me to an accuracy of just three meters. That'll be centimeters of accuracy in a few years. Oh, we've got a junction. So here it's left. Pontypridd isn't the biggest place, but I reckon Dan's going to have to get his map out a fair few times. So presumably I am next to one of these roads. Woo! GPS might tell you where the hills are. Doesn't make them any flatter. My head unit is constantly being tracked. I've also synced it to send that information to Strava. Oh, I love a cheeky Strava segment. And that is definitely one of the ways in which GPS has enriched cycling. I think this might be the KOM that I was trying to get. Fairly sure I would have it, but of course I've got no GPS to prove it. The future tech of GPS is bigger, faster, stronger, cheaper. Better instantaneous speed and elevation. Whichever way you look at GPS, it's been nothing short of a revolution. Ironically, I have actually just taken a wrong turn 